You know, I want to get this clear. I want to be sure we understand each other. If you come back with me, you'll be under arrest. You're my prisoner. Oh, <laughs> surely that is forgotten. I have not forgotten. And the men who sent me have not forgotten. And they're going to look for you until they find you. But the men who remember this hunter, maybe they're dead. They'll have written your name in a book. Book? The men will die, the book will remain. What is book? A book is words. The words say, Enoch is a murderer. No, Enoch is not a murderer. Let this man explain. Explain? How can you explain? Now, what can you say? The man was rude. He insulted my home. He refused our oldest meat. But most white men are not fond of old meat. But the worms were fresh. But when someone proposed to him the, the highest courtesy to laugh with Asiak, he refused. Let a woman explain. A woman combed her hair, greased her face with blabbers, and cleaned herself to be polite. A husband was ready to leave. What does the man do? He starts to run. So on. Someone grabbed him by the shoulder to, to bang his head against the wall. Not, not to kill, just to crack his head a little. Unfortunately, it cracked a lot. When someone bumps Inuk's head against the wall, the wall falls apart, not his head. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Inuk, listen. No judge in the world will understand you offering another man your wife. But it is our custom. We must be polite. White men don't borrow other men's wives? Uh, 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 never mind that. You don't lend your wife as if she were a sled. <laughs> Someone would rather lend his wife than his sled. You lend your sled, it comes back cracked. You, you lend your knife, it comes back dull. You, you lend your dogs. They come back tired and crawling. <laughs> If you love your wife, no matter how often you lend her, she always comes back like new. <laughs> man. Man. You, you don't understand? I understand. Good. But the other men live by the book. And there you are a murderer. We, we must make them understand. Otherwise, Papik, Ajak, and me, we, we cannot go into other men's igloos. That is our law. Hmm. Well, we changed the book, huh? Ajak, you bring the food. Ajak, they'll never understand. When you come to a strange land, you should bring your wives and not your laws. don't go to trading post? I go. You don't. Why? Enoch, we couldn't change a thing. You have to go back. You mustn't be seen here by anybody. But, man... Until we go in there, I have full authority. I can let you go. All I do is fill in a form, sign a report, and Enoch doesn't exist anymore. Enoch is dead. But there is only one Enoch. Inuk is here. He has no wish to be dead. They will have to punish you because the rules are stronger than they are. The rules have grown stronger than those who made them. Go back. Man. Man. You, you and me, we make them understand. All right. I'll explain in a different way. I don't want you with me. I'm sick of you. Huh? I wouldn't have Asiak's laughter if it was offered. 
Oh, and when we get to the trading post, I'll put a bullet in your big stomach. And I'll feed Asiac and that misfit Pappy to the bear. Because I hate bear. I don't want you with me! <laughs> Asiac, what did we do to him? White men. Oh, they're truly difficult to understand. They're as bad as a bear. Worse. <laughs> Much worse. Now we go back. We go back. <laughs> 